Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to this Bitcoin price update. We have $50,000 per Bitcoin guys. Congratulations to every Bitcoin hodler out there and of course to everyone that DCA nicely into Bitcoin in the last couple of months because we have reached our in theory bullish target of 50k. We touched now this green line here the 50,000 dollars mark i'm going to show you why this mark here is so important of course in this video and who knows if this pump will continue now towards 52 and 60k that would be in theory the next next target or if the top is in for now and that we are in for a major correction so we are going to analyze different time frames to see what we could expect here next uh, bitcoin is uh, currently a little bit falling now below the top set of the Kelton channels in the four hour we are going to analyze that so far nothing bad is happening happening here really um, so we are going to analyze the important time frames so if you like this crypto content always make sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel check out all the newest pre-sales that you can invest and of course also all the exchanges that I'm using always diversify into several exchanges and currently I would recommend you to try out Prime XPT also if you still uh, have a Prime XPT account because Prime XPT we used in the past to do copy trading but now they have a new feature here the crypto futures where you can easily trade with leverage you can go long or short here in a very easy way with market orders or limit orders if you want to know of course how this is working if you are a beginner then watch the tutorial that is popping up at the end of this video and currently if you sign up to prime xpt you can get a five dollars coupon that means you just have to sign up with the link in the video description and if you go here to rewards you can claim five dollars completely for free and put your first trade here so you can go long or short with those five dollars this is also of course including leverage you can adjust the leverage as you wish up to 100x leverage and then like that do some gains all right guys so let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for bitcoin because of course here this pump that we have seen since basically 39k is still ongoing and we are breaking one resistance after the other and guess what the next one is coming here at fifty thousand two hundred dollars exactly currently bitcoin is struggling to push above this re uh, resistance and it looks like that we are forming a little ascending triangle which is of course a bullish pattern so currently bitcoin is forming this pattern with a breakout target right at our next major resistance at 52k if we break out higher here and uh, this is in my opinion possible but of course we would need four hour closes above fifty thousand two hundred sixty dollars so far we don't even have one four hour close above fifty thousand two hundred dollars that is the main resistance as you can see here at the moment short term once this is broken we will push straight away towards 52k and then we will see if we're really going to have a moonshot towards 60k or not so what i am seeing here in the four hour is of course money flow which is still increasing that is extremely bullish guys so even if we just come down for example to forty eight thousand five hundred dollars to test this new support at the 20 moving average and the median line of the Kelton channels where we bounced also here this could just end up in a little pullback before we had higher of course but we don't even have necessarily to come down here because currently uh, money flow is increasing rapidly the problem is that we have um, bearish divergences so as you can see the rsi is coming lower and lower while the price action here is going higher and higher so we always have higher highs in the four hour closes but lower highs in the rsi this is of course bearish divergence but this is what we often see for a very long time whenever bitcoin is in this raging bull mode so in my opinion right now we are again at the decision point will we break now this fifty thousand fifty thousand two hundred dollars and push towards the next target 52k there i'm expecting the next stop before eventually we go higher <clears throat> and um yeah what could deny of course such a move is once we would see a four hour closes below forty eight thousand five hundred dollars this is currently uh, the support that short term needs to be hold if we see a more severe pullback because if we start to have four hour closes below that price level then of course this uh, opens up the gate to fall way way uh, lower towards the next lower supports but we don't have to um, check them out yet because so far we don't see a breakout so currently we are still in this consolidation phase uh, where we have to take here a decision will we see here a big move towards 52k next or not on the daily time frame we are also a bit overheated so also here a sell signal will appear very soon 
but as you can see money flow is also still increasing so that in theory should mean that we will see continuation to the upside and if here we will we would fall um below the short-term support that we have at around the 48k uh, here on the daily the main supports are coming at 45k and 44 000 dollars so down here and they are far away because this move was so fast and we went so high that means that if a more severe pullback will be incoming then of course uh, we can fall way lower than that and uh, and then afterwards maybe continue uh, the run up here but uh, i think that if we lose this momentum here that we are building up right now um we can start here a more prolonged and severe correction but at the moment this is not the case as long as we have daily closes above the top side of the candle channels currently at forty eight thousand two hundred dollars so more or less where we have the support in the four hour we should expect to go higher and break out towards the next major resistance here at 52k but you can see that although here on the daily we are struggling to push above this green line that you can see here and that one is coming from our fibonacci retracements from the all-time high that we had so far it's at 69k and the bear market bottom here at fifteen thousand six hundred dollars you can see that bitcoin right now is touching the 0.786 fib line exactly at fifty thousand three hundred dollars i never changed this uh, fibonacci retracement i told you guys that in theory the the target of this bear market rally is somewhere close to the 0.786 fib line where bitcoin always topped out during bear market rallies so we have touched it now so far we came very close to it at 49k we came very very close to it but we didn't touch it N right now we touched it we even went a little bit higher than that it is possible also of course that we go even more higher than that so to touch also 52k that is possible but right now in my opinion this is the decision point will we top out here and start a correction in the next coming weeks and months or are we in here for a massive uh, breakout to the upside and to see something that we never have seen so far? That would mean that we have the chance to come very close to the all-time high of Bitcoin to touch this previous support trend line, which now is new resistance. This one is coming up at around 60k. And of course, the next major um, uh, Fibonacci retracement level would be, of course, the all-time high here right at 69k so if we break here the 0.786 it's very likely that over time we will come up towards uh, the, the all-time high and probably we, we would see new all-time highs before the next bitcoin halving this is something that we never have seen before same like we dropped also here below the 200 moving average is also we never had in a bear market and of course uh, we also never broke really here in, in the daily and weekly time frame the 0.786 fib line this is of course all what we never would have seen before so if that happens if we see daily and weekly closes better weekly closes above the 0.786 so about fifty thousand dollars let's say 50k above 50k then i think we will see new all-time highs before the next bitcoin halving and we will not stop uh, this huge momentum that we're building up you can see that also here in the previous uh, bear market uh, we, we bottomed out at the 200 moving average and then we rallied into the 0.786 fib line we overshooted it a little bit of course but uh, you can see that we came twice to this uh, to this line and afterwards we started a huge uh, crash and um, we can even go further in the past like here for example bitcoin also topped out at 1230 dollars imagine you could buy bitcoin at those price uh, prices again of course uh, by now uh, you would have gone all in at the all-time high it doesn't matter if afterwards we crash down if you would knew where bitcoin was heading to but uh, it is how it is i mean now at 50k also one day you will say i should have gone all in at 50k or at 70k um, because bitcoin of course will go to much higher levels but also here you can see bear market we bottomed out uh, at the 200 moving average and then we had this huge run up into the 0.786 fib line and afterwards we had a crash of uh, 41 percent uh, before then we continued um, the bull run and the run up probably also here somewhere we had the old time uh, we had the bitcoin halving then we came to the all-time high got rejected and afterwards continued the run up i i'm actually wondering this rejection how deep it was because this rejection from the, this all-time high to the this low was also minus 33 percent before then we took off and here we created a little new all-time high crash 33 percent and then move on moved on and let me have a look here this was not really a bear market here 
um, but a more severe correction. This was, for example, a severe uh, bear market. And then we had a prolonged uh, run up, also very close to the 0.786. Here we didn't touch it. And you can see that afterwards we crashed down and then slowly geared up here for the next big move. And this was in, in 2012. So this was really at the beginning of uh, of the history of, uh, of Bitcoin. So there we didn't have much chart uh, data and so on. But you, you can see what I mean. We are at the decision point. This is the 0.786. This is where previously we always topped out during uh, a, a bear market rally. And afterwards we came down and we had like a 30 to 40 percent correction and then slowly moved on towards a new all time highs. And even if, when we created new all time highs, sometimes we had we had like a minus 30 percent correction as well. Um, but as I told you guys, Bitcoin is looking so bullish. We are at the decision point. I think that at, at the moment, everything is possible. We could really see new optimize before the Bitcoin halving. It depends really uh, how much or how further we push higher here and how long we consolidate here at around 50K. Uh, if we see daily and weekly closes above $50,200, especially weekly closes. And also if we break 52K, of course, I think that um, we will definitely see 60K and maybe probably like the test of the all-time high and then we will see what will happen everything is possible then but at least for now we are getting rejected right at the 0.786 let me know in the comment section what do you think we will get rejected here again or not only time will tell guys but don't forget that we can trade these over on prime xpt for example we can put here a nice long or short doesn't matter in which direction that we're going you can make some money with your bitcoin or also with your usdts if you cashed out some usdts by now then of course you can also go long or short with them to multiply them if you think that um um, you shouldn't have uh, cashed out, let's say, at 40k or 45k. If you have some USDTs on the sideline, you can also trade with them, of course. That's why always diversify into several exchanges, use several exchanges, and like that, split your trades and do multiple trades because right now is the time to trade. Right now, you can make the biggest gains of your life, guys, because we have a lot of volatility. And right now, we are also at a very um, pivot point. We are at a decision point. Will we have here massive run-ups to the upside or uh, are we in here for a massive uh, correction for the next coming days? And we Weeks. Only time will tell guys about them. Um, yeah, at the moment, rejection. Let's wait and see. We need some more data. But I think that this week or latest next week, we will have a conclusion here what will come up next. So thank you for watching. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye for now.